Hello everybody, this is Tom and I'm uh, doing a little test video kind of. I'm going to post this and see how it comes out. I am on a new camera. It's being processed by my computer so you probably see a delay in the voice with my lips moving which unfortunately is because of the cheap, oh well, it's not cheap, it's an old laptop that was my son's. This is a Logitech 1080p uh, uh, it's a 920C camera with 1080p but I'm actually filming on 720 I lowered the resolution in order to try to get the computer to process it, this better uh, I'm at a good view here we can uh, see what I'm doing right here no problem uh, the camera's hanging on my light my desk lamp which turns it out to be a great boom for the over the desk so there's the parts <clears throat> this is sort of a test video I don't know how much I'm gonna really tape here I got my uh, set up pretty good, I think, where we can see everything that I'm actually doing on screen. I just am a little concerned about the audio delay. I don't know how it's going to coordinate, and that's kind of why I want to do this and produce it and see what happens. I'm only going to put on a couple parts here and just see what happens with it. I have uh, not done any work since my last video. I haven't had time really and then I was working on getting this set up and now I can before I had the, the bloggy bloggy camera which uh, processed the video but now I have this cheap laptop doing the video and I'm gonna probably have to upgrade my computer so we left off at doing these resistor networks here and uh, now I can see what's I'm actually filming though which is extremely good then I can get better shots uh, I think I'm probably just gonna solder one or two parts on here and cut the video short and produce it and see how it comes out and post it it kind of as a test I have to uh, start somewhere with it so we're gonna next put on the 50k potentiometer on the left side of the board R1 will sit above the board due to the shoulder on the pin hold it in place flat not tilted while soldering R1 left side of the board and this is left to me let me get this out of the way where I'm sitting and R1 now I believe I have this board put to where they want it yeah it's right there R1 so there's a round uh, I think you can see that behind that resistor network this round three pin hole I'm not going to use I'm going to actually use a magnifying glass on my side <laughs> I did pick this up as I said I was going to because I can see well enough to do the soldering but I can't visualize down at the level where the pin is into the hole to actually visualize how much solder is going in and I as I had mentioned in previous videos I was tending to put too much solder in there we go we're in the pins easy to or ornate, uh, orientate because it has uh, three pins that should stay right in place it kind of snapped in more or less a lot of glare on this uh, which light is that oh you know what it's my magnifying glass light it's giving you glare better without it for the camera but worse for me to solder well I have to work on that I think yeah that might be a problem let's see hmm. I'm soldering up here by the way not where the glare is. I'm using trial software vMix which no that didn't focus too well did it when I made that move. So far this camera has been focusing pretty good 
it doesn't want to focus on that board it's focusing on the table it likes the leg of this down here Well, again, this is why I'm doing this test video, and I apologize for this. Uh, oh, did it focus on my hand? There we go. Uh, now, see, it came in and went out again. This is the thing about autofocus. It drives people crazy. I think not just me, but everybody. You can't decide what it's going to focus on. It decides itself what it's going to focus on. It's, it's focusing on this stuff over here. Why, I don't know. I haven't figured out a way to control the zoom on the camera from within this software so far, and that's kind of annoying me, actually. I don't even know if there's a way to do it. I, I can open the separate software for the camera, but then it tells me this is already being controlled by another program. You have to just turn it off first. So because it's running in this software, I can't run it in that software to zoom in. And I have not been able to find controls in this software that allows me to zoom it. It'll allow you to, it's, it's kind of, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to buy it, it's a 60 day trial. Um, it will allow you to control a network camera that's hooked up over a network with a, with a, uh, with like an IP address. But uh, I have not yet found a way to control the camera that's plugged, that you're accessing off your computer through it, which makes no sense to me. So I don't know if this software is going to be a winner or not. Yeah, I hate to do this, but for me to get this where I can see it, it's out of focus to you. Very frustrating. Look at that. It just, it, it hits the board, it focuses on the board, and then it changes its, oh, there it goes. Then it changes, it likes, it likes the, uh, oh, until I move my hand. In, uh, in order to do a manual focus, I would have to disconnect the software that I'm looking at this through to control the camera because there's no camera controls within this software. I'm repeating myself, I know. But I was talking about the zoom, now I'm talking about the focus. You would think that these software companies would, um, I'm just gonna solder this, it's only three pins, and see how this video comes out. You would think the software companies would look at the needs of what people are doing as far as producing videos and make a software to meet the need so they can sell the software. Now this software is not even production software for producing videos. It's more streaming software where you have multiple cameras, multimedia presentations based on cameras, videos, pictures, uh, YouTube links, all, all kinds of different things. And you can you can go from live to the video to a picture and produce this output but then there's no easy way to take your produced video and upload it you have to use other software to do that so it does the camera work basically is what it's good for you can switch you can have multiple cameras plugged in and switch from one view to another view and flip back and forth from one camera to another But it also, as I mentioned though, as far as I can find, does not give you control. Let's try to look at this together. It doesn't give you control of the camera. 
unless it's a network connected camera at least that I've found. I've, I've run through the help file trying to figure it out. So you're looking right through my uh, my magnifying glass right now. But again, it, it wants to focus there. See, it was perfectly focused and then it went out. It, it, it focused on the desk. Why doesn't it focus on the closest object instead of... I think it's looking for something solid and there's this circuit board's too busy. There, perfectly focused, and it went out. It changed its mind and went to the desk again. God, that is annoying. So I'm looking at those three pins right there, which, yeah, I'd like to look at them on camera with you, and it doesn't want to focus on it. Focus on my finger, man. Come on those pins right there it's focused down here instead of up there if I put it down here maybe we can see it right except now it's too far away yeah for these close-up shots I have to be able to manually control the focus on this camera I'm doing this as a bit of a test really for future videos. If I cannot figure out a way to manually control the camera and the focus and the zoom from within this software, then this software is not going to work. Okay, I think I'm going to just end this video and just say that this is an introduction video. I'm going to go back up here and talk a little bit. Now we'll have focus of course you can see my sea of parts. The next thing in the comp in this manual is to put in like three diodes and all the all the capacitors and solder them in. It's simply populating the board with with the diodes and capacitors and soldering them in. I'm not going to bore people with me uh, soldering uh, simple parts. If I get to a part where there's more interesting things I will make more videos. Uh, the next view of this I'm going to have all the capacitors put in and a couple of diodes. Uh, that Those are the two next steps. And play around with this software and see if there's any way possible that I can get it working better to control the camera and uh, make it usable. Otherwise I'm going to have to keep searching for a different type of software to do these videos with. Well, sorry for the uh, well, it, it's not short. I'm talking too much. I'm sorry for the, the disjointed test video we're going to call this. Thanks for watching. 73.